Earlier this month, North Korea unveiled a new uranium enrichment facility. November's CSIS Schieffer series takes a look at why and what this means. Experts on the region also discuss the Korea Free Trade Agreement and North Korea secession. Take a look at highlights from this month's event right here. What happened here? Just, just tell us what, what's happened, what we've just discovered, and, and should we be worried about it? Um, thank you very much. It's, it's great to be here. Great to be with this, this distinguished panel and great audience. Um, what happened uh, is that the North Koreans invited uh, uh, world around nuclear scientist Sig Heckler and showed him a facility that appears to be a uranium enrichment facility. Um, we should be worried, um, but I should point out that this is not a new issue. Uh, this revelation of a facility in Yongbyon may be new, but this is an issue that we have followed for some time. While I agree with uh, Sung that this was clearly something that the United States has been worried about for some time, and, um, and the North Koreans were confronted directly by the United States about this in October of 2002. What I think was surprising, it was surprising to Sig Hecker and surprising to me personally as someone who follows this was that the, what the facility they showed him appeared to be much further advanced and much farther along than anything that any expert who had been following North Korea had suspected they were capable of doing. Um, so I agree that it's something that we've known about for quite some time and it confirms our worst suspicions about uh, North Korean desires to pursue um, enriched uranium as a path in terms of their nuclear capabilities. Uh, uh, but at the same time, it does create a bit of alarm because this is much farther along than anybody had, had anticipated they would be. Why do they all of a sudden say, hey, come and look at this facility? I mean, if they were doing something that they wanted to keep secret, you would say, logically, you wouldn't want to have a professor walking through there. Uh, he couldn't take photographs, but it, so you, some people believe that North Korea wants it to be known, wants the rest of the world to believe that they do have this capability. Now, if you listen to the briefing by P.J. Crowley today over at the State Department, he's saying it only shows a, uh, uh, a brief glimpse into a capability, but we have to define whether they actually have the capability. What's interesting here in this case is we didn't see the facility or have an understanding that they could build such a sophisticated facility. And that's happened to us before in North Korea. I mean, consider uh, the reactor that was built uh, in Syria. Uh, the first, the US really got a sense of the North Korean involvement and what was involved came when the head of the Mossad came and dropped the file on Steve Hadley's coffee table, and a few months later, the Israelis destroyed the facility. So besides trying to get the Chinese to do something, what specifically can the United States do beyond what we've already done in terms of UN Security Council resolutions and showing how terribly upset we are? It's what one person once described to me as the land of lousy options, right? I mean, you're never choosing between good and bad options. You're choosing between bad, worse, and the worst. Those are your choices. Um, and this is a, a quintessential example of that, in which um, clearly I think it's more dangerous now than it was uh, you know, a few days ago. Um, and we have a negotiation process right now that's broken. Um, and we, quite frankly, I don't think have any new, new ideas about how to approach this problem. And there's no good military option. Um, so unfortunately, what that means is that you go back, you hold your nose, and you try to get back into a negotiation. I mean, I hate to say that because it's so dissatisfying. Um, but you try to get back into a negotiation with them, with the Chinese on your side, um, really trying to push the North to put this facility and this, these new capabilities on the table for negotiation.